In this video, we're going to look at the differences between Google Backup and Sync versus Drive File Stream. Backup and Sync is available to all G Suite accounts as well as personal ones. You can back up your files from your computer, camera, SD card, right to the cloud. You'll be able to find your files on any device or computer using Google Drive and see your photos in Google Photos. It's an excellent backup utility. Drive File Stream is a new way to access all of your drive files on demand directly from your Mac or PC without using any of your disk space or very little disk space because you can now pin individual files for offline access. If you need to use files in Team Drives, you'll want to use Drive File Stream. This isn't available in the Backup and Sync utility. You can also sync only individual files with Google Drive for offline mode with Drive File Stream. With the Backup and Sync utility, you needed to download the entire folder. With Drive File Streams, it doesn't sync desktop docu or document folders from your PC. You need to manually move files to Drive File Stream. Drive File Stream isn't available with your personal Google account, such as at gmail.com addresses. And it's likely enabled for your with your administrator, but in this next section, I'm going to show you how as an administrator, you can turn on or off these features. You'll need to be an administrator for your domain in order to follow these instructions. But once you're at admin.google.com, the admin console, you can click on apps, then select G Suite, then find drive and docs in the services menu. Then select features and applications and you'll see the following settings that are available to you. You can turn off drive file streams as well as the other drive backup and sync utility. The backup and sync utility works very differently from drive file streams. So I've created another video series where you can explore more about the utility. I'll show you how to configure the application so it works for your laptop. These are settings that you'd have to set up each time on different devices. So be sure to check out that series. I'll leave a link to the playlist in the video description and the info links. Now, if you're ready to get started with file streams, I've created two other videos. One installation on how to install for the PC and one installation for the Mac. You're welcome to check out those videos and thanks for watching this video on the comparison between Drive Backup and Sync and the Drive File Stream.